Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take a quick look at a different kind of Linux distribution than what I normally review on this channel. I'm going to take a look at System Rescue CD. System Rescue CD, reading a little bit from their website, System Rescue CD is a Linux system rescue disk available as a bootable CD or a bootable DVD or a bootable USB stick for administrating and repairing your system and data after a crash. So. System Rescue CD is meant to be run as a bootable CD or a bootable DVD or a bootable USB stick. It is designed to rescue a system, particularly a system that no longer boots up correctly. That's the big reason why you need something like this. Uh, it comes with a lot of Linux utilities such as Gparted, FS Archiver, File System Tools, other basic tools like your text editors, file browsers like Midnight Commander, networking tools. It can be used to rescue both Linux computers and Windows computers, desktops, as well as servers. And it can be installed on the hard disk if you wish, although that is not really what a Linux distribution like System Rescue CD is designed for. It's mainly, again, you install this to a thumb drive, keep it on you, throw it in your laptop bag. You know, if you ever have any serious issue with your computer, friend's computer, family computers, you know, you can just plug this into the launch it straight into the live environment and try to repair whatever damage has been done. So I'm going to take a look at this inside a virtual machine. So when you first launch System Rescue CD and boot directly into the live environment here, uh, automatically starting as a terminal, logged in as root, you're logged in as a root user which makes sense you have to be the root user really to make any changes to the uh, to the host system that you want to do any kind of work on I should also mention system rescue CD is a gen 2 based Linux distribution so if you need to you know install any kind of extra utilities that aren't included in the live environment you're gonna of course pull those down through the gen 2 repos you're gonna need to use emerge you know portage and uh, while I've got the terminal open, let's uname space dash r. The kernel on this version of System Rescue CD is a very recent kernel, 4.14, so a uh, pretty, pretty recent kernel, which you expect being Gen 2 based. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the snapshot I pulled down, what the date on it was. Let me pull their website back up. Release date was February 3rd, 2018. So just a few days ago, two days ago actually, was this last snapshot. So very fresh packages on this. The download size for this ISO was 544 megabytes. So easily installs to a 700 megabyte CD. I'm going to minimize this terminal. By the way, the uh, desktop environment they're using here in the uh, this live desktop is XFCE. Uh, looking through the menu, seeing some of the programs they have installed by default. Under settings, you have a lot of your standard desktop environment settings stuff. Accessibility, appearance, display. We have our file manager, of course, file manager preferences. I'm assuming it's using the Thunar file manager in XFCE. Uh, keyboard, uh, MIME type editor, mouse and touchpad network and various other things that for a live CD, a sp particularly one geared towards system rescue, you're really not interested in most of this stuff. Really what we're going to be interested in is, is the uh, system and the utilities category. Under accessories, though, we have our application finder bulk rename tool. tool. We have email fm2, which is a uh, file browser. Oh, pretty neat little file browser. Also under accessories, we have GVim for our text editor. GVim is your graphical kind of version of Vim. Rather than running Vim in the terminal, GVim is a GUI Vim. Also under accessories, we have KeyPass, you know, for storing your file uh, passwords securely. We have our task manager, of course. It warns us that we're running the task manager as root, which is dangerous because as root, of course, we can kill any process running. 
but of course we're going to be root on everything here in Sy system rescue CD. We were root when we logged in. So uh, Thunar is our file manager, of course, here in XFC. Thunar also warns us that we have root privileges and that that's dangerous. We have XF burn for CD and DVD disk burning. Under development, we have Genie. Genie is a, another text editor. Internet, we have Firefox installed on the System Rescue CD. Uh, you always want to have a browser on a System Rescue CD so you can get to the internet and uh, search for help if you need it. Tiger VNC Viewer is also installed here. This is a uh, virtual uh, network computing, basically a remote desktop application. Under multimedia, we have ISO Master. Never actually looked at ISO Master before, but I'm assuming it's, you know, to burn images. Also under multimedia, XF Burn is here again. Office, there are no Office programs. We have a PDF viewer, and that's it. System, now this is where the tools that you're most likely to use for a system rescue CD are going to reside. We have bulk rename again. We have our e email FM2 file manager again. And of course, the big one here is Gparted. Oh, that's GRSync, actually. GRSync is a pretty cool utility, but Gparted is probably what you would use most of the time that you would need something like System Rescue CD. Um, this is where, of course, you could do some editing of your partitions. Uh, a lot of times when you need a System Rescue CD, and, and by System Rescue CD, I mean in general a System Rescue CD, not the distro system rescue CD. A lot of times you need it. Uh, it's because you're having problems with your bootloader. A lot of times, uh, you know, something gets messed up. The Grub bootloader gets messed up, especially when you're dual booting uh, more than one operating system, especially if Windows happens to be one of those operating systems. A Windows update just wipes out Grub, you know, just messes it up. So you go to boot up your computer one day. There's no Grub bootloader. Uh, what do you do? Well, you plug in your live USB, or you put in your live CD if you have an optical drive, and uh, you load into this, and you install Grub through this live environment here. Anyway, back to system. Uh, Gparted, GRSync. We have something called Hardware Lister here, which I'm assuming would just list your hardware. I'm not exactly sure. Probably you hit the refresh button, and it would list, you know, all the hardware connected to your machine. I'm assuming I'm in a virtual machine, so I'm not sh exactly sure how that would work. Uh, HTOP, of course, is included on the System Rescue CD. Just your standard process viewer, system monitor, if you will. Midnight Commander is included. Midnight Commander is another uh, file manager, terminal-based file manager. Pretty cool file manager, actually. Pretty easy to navigate through. Part image is also included here, another partition uh, program. Let me close that out. Show file systems. This looks like a very simple program here, basically FS Archiver. Uh, basically showing your file systems. We have Task Manager, which is our GUI Task Manager, the standard Task Manager in XFCE. Again, we're being warned that we're the root account because obviously we have privileges that we could kill any of those processes that are running and that's dangerous to be able to kill any process that's running on your computer all right test disk is also installed don't know much about this program test disk is a free data recovery software to help recover lost partitions and or make non-booting disk bootable again when these systems are caused by faulty software certain types of viruses or human error so it's a data recovery utility is basically what this is also under system we have the thunar file manager our gui file manager and we have the terminal of course the xfce terminal which always launches as root. The only user on System Rescue CD is root. There is no home user. And that is really all there is to System Rescue CD. Again, it's just a 544 megabyte ISO. You just install it on a CD. Of course, these days, you're probably installing it to a USB stick. And it's just designed, you know, to, again, to like having a laptop bag or, you know, have on your keychain or something. Uh, Particularly if you're, your line of work, you deal with computers a lot. 
it's, it's just handy to have some kind of live USB stick around to rescue systems. Honestly, do you really need something like System Rescue CD, which is especially geared for this kind of work? No, I mean a, a live USB stick of Ubuntu works just fine because it has things like Gparted on it and anything it doesn't have that you need, well you just sudo apt install whatever, just pull it down onto your live USB stick and, and work from there. Uh, matter of fact, that's one of the things about System Rescue CD I'm not sure everybody is going to like is that it's Gen 2 based. So if you need any extra software that's not included here, you're pulling it down with a merge, uh, it, it, that's slower than it would be for something that would be Debian based or Ubuntu based or Arch based even. You know, very slow package management in Gen 2, you know, if you, if you have to pull some packages down. So that's the only downside I would see to something like System Rescue CD. But for the most part, you really do have most everything you're going to need. I mean, the big stuff is the partition stuff. That's usually what you're trying to fix when you need a System Rescue CD. So check it out, guys. Peace.